in Mexico, we have big issues uh, on, 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 on the justice on, on, and, on the, and on the system of, uh, of justice. Uh, we're talking about 90 more ab above 90 percent of, of crimes against uh, general population in Mexico doesn't get uh, a conviction, and this increases also in and this reflects also in the in the crimes against journalists. So many people have said we have a collapsed system, justice system, and some other people say we have a, a total incompetent justice system. So. The thing is that it's not only the crimes against journalists that doesn't get just justice or, or any conviction or, or any conviction against a perpetrator, it's the whole system of, of, Me of Mexico. For this problem, we, the, there was a, a reform, a constitutional reform that started a couple of years ago, and we, we, they started to move forward for a renewal for the penal system. This change of system hasn't shown any advances yet. So impunity is a big issue in Mexico and this only gets worse when the attacks against journalists and, and media outlets. In order to get and tackle impunity, we should start asking authorities to, to give results in these cases because not a single case in Mexico has fulfill all the expectations or not only the colleagues, the journalists, also the, uh, or the civil society organizations. So the lack of results and the lack also of information. As we were, as we were talking uh, before, the special prosecutor is a really opaque institution. Also, we have we face the mechanisms that, that hasn't shown the results expected and is, it isn't transparent. So. There's not a lot, a, a lot of trust on, on the authorities, and this is a, a really, a really effect to, to journalists because it, it, it starts like a, a chilling effect. If I get, if my colleague get killed, get get, a, get harassed, get, get a, suffer suffers from an aggression, I'm not gonna be able, or I'm not gonna trust the authorities to to investigate. And this is like a, an expensive way uh, and reaches all the, all the, the, whole, the whole journalism group. Self-censorship is a big issue and it, and it doesn't only come from impunity, it comes from the pressure from several groups. It comes from the pressure from, the pressure from uh, governments because here in Mexico we don't have laws that regulate the public advert the, or the official advertisement. So this is also used as a as a tool to 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 punish journalists or media outlets. So economic power uh, is also a big issue because many of the media rely on, on publicity. So so some some sort of of uh, industry, some sort of of big companies make make push so so hard on, on, on the media so they they self censorship. The other thing we are facing in Mexico is the organized crime. The big cartels also push so much pressure uh, to control the free flow of information. And we are not talking only about one organized crime group. So in Mexico, a big country, we have several groups and the, and the country is divided by, by the influence of these, of these organized cartels. So journalists not only face the economic power, the political power, also they face these these powers, these parallel powers, and and, and struggle with them uh, in, in a daily basis. They don't know if they. Many times, the organized groups send direct messages about the, the information they don't wanna be, they don't wanna, they don't wanna see public. But sometimes uh, they just send a message through all the other their colleagues or they go move forward and start the, the physical harassment. Many of the things in Mexico that have been moving, like the federal mechanism, the special prosecutor and some legal framework to protect journalism, 
are done because of the of the outside pressure on the government. It, it is not not only the mechan the international mechanisms of human rights, talking about the OAS, the UN, and the special procedures. It is because only Mexico reacts when the pressure comes from from the outside. Not even the the local NGOs have the power in order to to ask and, and get a reaction from the government. So the pressure from outside Mexico has been crucial in order to establish a, a proper legal framework, a proper institution, but there's the lack of, of results on, and transparency. Because as we were talking earlier, the, the special prosecutor is, is on paper is a really good institution, but it doesn't get the results and, and it doesn't get the job done. Also, the federal mechanisms, it, 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 it has come late because this problem started in 2000 and, it, and, there, and re, the reaction came only 12 years after. And not has come and to fulfill all the expectations from the journalism, uh, and the journalists, the media and the, and, the, and the NGOs that works towards uh, freedom of expression and freedom of, of, of the press. So, what can the, the outside Mexico and the big international NGOs and mechanisms and, and journalists organizations? It's, it's crucial to ask for results and transparency because that's the big issue. It's not only that you have the proper legal framework, the proper institutions, you need to get them the work done. And, and, and that is a big issue in Mexico. The lack of trust has come so big that uh, is, is, this, this reaction to this institution are just seen as a, as a simulation. 